Hello, this is Icestorm353 with my review on the LEGO Star Wars Separatist Spider Droid set um, 7681. This is everything it comes with. It comes with four, uh, five minifigures, as you can see. The cool instruction manual, the Spider Droid, and a bunch of attachments. I'll start out with the minifigure. First, my minifigure, one of my favorite minifigure of all, if you to my channel, is Lego Star Wars Commander Fox. He's extremely detailed. She's got so much stuff in the cool head and helmet. The helmet's extremely detailed. And then, put him on him. And he comes with armor. And his armor is, he's got this cool comma, which is really awesome. And then you put the helmet on. He's also got a cool skirt, which I really like. And I like the gray armor. It's better than those old clone walker armors. So yeah, the gray armor. That's cool. Don't forget the visor. Don't know really why they have a visor. I don't know if it's just for decoration or if the sun gets in their eyes or something. Yeah, the visor. And his two commander pistols, which are super cool, gray. They can be a little bit hard to get on at first. Um, sorry about that, that's my dog. I'll try to make this quick. Um, I can't get the Commander Pistol in, yeah, there, that's how Commander, Clone Commander Fox looks like, he's really cool, my favorite minifig, then an average everyday episode 2 clone trooper, pretty awesome, comes with a, um, blaster rifle, right here, just attach it, you can give him some of the rangefinders or flashlights. It comes with two rangefinders, two flashlights to customize them. Yeah. A battle droid. Average, everyday battle droid. Probably a very easy guy to find. Comes in almost every single Clone set now. These. It's pretty hard to do. Um, next is the whatever. Next is the clone commander. If you see, I painted the back of his head on um, yellow, as they do in the old ones, which I really like. Then you just take um, his blaster rifle, put him down. Next is the the um, what's it called? Super battle droid. Which is really awesome. They're starting to put these in like every single Clone Wars set. Arms. That's about it. And here's the remaining stuff. It comes with an extra blaster pistol for Fox if you don't want to use the commanders. And it comes with the uh, rangefinders and the lights. Okay, now on to the um, spider droid. Okay. This set is very clumsy, I have to say, but it's still an awesome set. At the bottom, it's got a rotating cannon. It rotates up and down. And on the top, it's got a cannon that can almost rotate in a 360, but gets stopped by the eye. And here's a way how to fi fix it. Sorry about that. Let me just get um, something. Okay. Okay. Uh, you see it? Okay. First of all, you push it up like that. Like, try to pull it out. And the easier way is you take the eye like that and pull it out like that. And you see this right here? You push that. So then it comes out a little bit. Then you pull it out more. Then you attach it back on to the droid. Mm, pretty tricky. Let me... hard technique to do. Then after you've done that, you can close the eye back, and then 
um, you can lift it up. Like that. See, I told you it was a little bit clumsy. And then a little bit more, and yeah, you got a 360 rotator. But I like the normal rotating thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, next we have um, the cool eye I just showed you. Yeah, it can move up and down. The legs, they are clumsy, and yeah, they wobble around so much. It doesn't fall down usually if you got a good pose. You can move the legs like this. You can move them up, and you can move them side to side, which is pretty cool. Some people also think that you can put a droid in the cockpit. Seriously, it's a droid itself. So why do you think you can put a droid in a droid? That's just kind of stupid. Okay, let me show you why. Okay, as we've seen before, you lift the eye open, take the cockpit off. There's stuff in it. All that stuff... It's just to hold the cop top cockpit on. You can't put a droid inside it. It's a droid itself. So, yeah, don't expect to be putting a droid in. Because it doesn't. The set is also 206 pieces, limited edition. And it is $30 at um, any store. Or Toys R Us, the only store that really sells them is $35. But I bought this off Lego.com. And it was thirty dollars plus shipping and handling, t uh, forty dollars altogether. And it came in a minimum four days, which was nice. Um, and now, now let me show you something. Okay, see how big this is compared to my hand. Yeah, and the box you can see behind it. Now I'm gonna get something that is a hundred and ten pieces more. This right here. The AAT Armored Assault Tank. It is 101 pieces more, but smaller. Which is downright smaller. I don't get that very much, but it's just smaller. And this thing's huge compared to it. The legs make it imitating. And the Commander Fox makes it worth it. It is a tit overpriced for. $30. This is more of a price though, but yeah, that. And yeah, it's a pretty awesome set. Recommendable. If you have the money, I would go suggest you buy. So, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other video.